freezer freezer went out. What do I have here? I have a 2004 Frigidaire freezer that is no longer cooling. So we're going to go over some repair procedures. Um, this one, so far the preliminary results, tests, show that it's low on Freon or 134A. Uh, the way I'm determining that is it's all the cooling fins in my freezer. It's only cooling maybe about a foot of the cooling fins and the rest of the cooling fins is just cooling them right when it comes into the system. The rest of the cooling fins get warmer and warmer and warmer. Uh, it's been progressively getting worse over the last year and a half, two years, which would designate a internal system problem. Um, the easiest would probably be just a, a uh, 134A leak. The worst, probably a pump failure. But we're going to check pressures and go over that. This little teeny line right there is where the, where the refrigerant comes in. And right there, it expands into the bigger line. And that's where the cooling starts. And it winds its way back and forth. And right now, mine's only cooling maybe to about here. But it's frosting up only at about, about here. Just a foot of it, it's frosting up. But the coolant is supposed to run back and forth. All the way across here, goes up, goes along the roof goes down where'd you go from there then it goes Ooh, sticky then it goes down to the bottom back and forth across the bottom back up back and forth across the across the second shelf up, back and forth across the third shelf, back, down, down into the bottom of the refrigerator. So, let's go look on the back side. lovely compressor. This is where this is where the line drops back in goes down around and into the compressor. And then that little line that I showed you is actually right here. So that comes round up, and since this is a freezer, there are actually no coils. The coils are actually built into the sides. They're built into the sides and the top of the freezer. So this wraps back and forth across the entire sides, up the top, down the other side, right comes back down out right here and back into the compressor so the compressor this would be your low side this is your high side so it actually compresses the liquid forces it up here through the entire sides bam bam through your accumulator dryer through this little capillary tube up inside back and forth through the lines inside your freezer providing the cooling and then back into the compressor in a home system there is in a in a refrigerator or freezer or whatever 
for a home, it is a completely sealed system. There are no access ports you can hook gauges to or anything. So if you're going to hook gauges to it to check pressures, you actually need to use what's called a line tap. Thanks to the wonderful world of eBay, a line tap. What this does is it actually just pierces the copper line and allows you to hook up a manifold gauge system, manifold gauges, or check pressures, add 134A, add oil, add whatever. So let's go over that. Allen wrench, line tap, a bunch of O-rings, Bunch of different adapters for different size lines. It'll fit a three different size lines. Over the line. There's a little needle in there that actually pierces the line. When you screw it in, it pierces it. Then when you actually take off the the cap, it's actually like a Schrader valve. You know, it works just like a Schrader valve. That thing's under spring pressure and won't leak. Well, it, it's a possibility leak, but they put an O-ring and stuff in the cap so you can screw that back on and prevent the chances of a leak. And then you take out this little this little puncher tool. So, Let's open up a line. You will need some equipment like a manifold gauge set or it's possible you can get away with a cheap um, gauge attached to a can set. No, you couldn't because those usually have a different fitting. Usually those will have a fitting like this, a quick release fitting for car stuff. Um, but you will need a can tap. You will need a manifold gauge set. These can be had for, if you buy them with a can, well, these can be had for 10 bucks or so. Um, you will need a manifold gauge set, courtesy of Harbor Freight, about 40 bucks. And it'll also let you check your car's AC, so that works. Manifold gauge set. What did I pay for it? I think with a coupon, I paid, and I got a pair of three scissors. Total was 42 bucks, 42.73. So, so far, and then you will need a can of 134A. 10 bucks at Walmart, 9.50, something like that. And you will need a can of, if you have a leak, in your system like I potentially do, you will need a can you will need to either find the leak or find a can of sealer. Um, the problem with sealed systems like mine is it's virtually impossible to find the leak. I have tried the water trick, um, spraying soapy water around everywhere inside, but because half of my coils are embedded into the outside, um, it's impossible almost. I I did it three or four times, checked leaks around the compressor, around all fittings, nothing. So I am left with this. Now this has to be, that this super seal, whatever stuff, it has to be able to repair leaks in metal. Um, if it doesn't repair leaks in metal, it will not work. Because most leak sealers, um, for the automotive industry anyway, are only seal conditioners. So what they do is they have 
um, silk conditioners that just expands rubber gaskets, hoses, stuff like that, swells them, um, making them seal again. That won't work for, since there's no rubber that I know of really in a refrigeration system, that won't work. You need actually to f seal a pinhole, you need a leak sealer that will seal metal. And according to uh, Interdynamics website on this product, if your refrigeration system holds some refrigerant for or holds refrigerant for at least two weeks, this stuff will seal. If it, but then it says if it leaks it out under 24 hours, all of your refrigerant out under 24 hours, it will not seal it and the leak's too big. And your SOL. Oh, and by the way, that is about 24 bucks at Walmart. Which is going to be this one. Figure out where I want to position this. Probably just sticking straight out of the back like that will be the easiest. adapter in. There is a little o-ring that goes in here. This is going to be a long video. Might be several parts. Put a little piercing needle on there. And we're going to pierce it. Lines pierced. You gotta move it pretty fast to there we go. Now that's a Schrader valve. Take my piercing tool, put my piercing tool away. Now let's hook up the gauges. The refrigerator is actually off right now, the freezer is actually off right now, but I'm going to plug it in here in a second. I just wanted to see what, what pressure I was running at, not running. Pressure not running. The system is at um, 66 psi. Um, once it starts, once it starts running, it should be at uh, approximately zero um, psi. It's about 70 degrees right now, and according to my, according to the data sheet, at 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, my suction side should be 14 to 0 PSI's, and my high side should be 110 to 125. So let's plug it in, let's see.